You know, Jason, I had the thought before we started that uh, this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2, we've kind of got like a... No, nothing. I don't worry. I'm a bear. Grar. Uh, we kind of got like a Jekyll and Hyde thing going on. How's that? Where I feel like when you play, you're a little bit more, uh, let's say, uh, like aggressive. Sometimes. Uh, on so occasion. Psychotic. Um, just, it's 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 uh, it's a day. It's been a day. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> Look, I got to work out my issues somewhere. It's God been, damn it. <laughs> yeah. It's been a couple of weeks. Hey, it's me, the bear murderer. Uh, by the way, welcome back, everybody. I'm Jeff. <laughs> I'm Jason. So, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. I don't. Right, I, are you blind or? Oh, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. Uh oh. All right. They get on my back. They, they killed, killed that Ms. poor Calhoun. woman. <laughs> All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her. Those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. <laughs> my cousins, probably, or. This is why. This is why living in the past is garbage. No, <laughs> yeah. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all Hell. his powers of imagination. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but the present's kind of garbage too. I don't know, man. Do you remember the 1980s? <laughs> like, I remember. Yeah, the 80s were kind of shit. <laughs> Everybody has this rose-colored glasses about the 80s, guys. Come on, the 80s sucked. 80s ball sack. Here's, here's the big takeaway from the 80s. If you're growing up in the 80s, you're scared that at any moment there's gonna be you're gonna get annihilated yep. by a nuclear weapon. Yep. Any moment. Yep. Not only that, that was an ever-present fear. Not only that, but Jason, do you remember what television was like in the eighties? Jesus Christ, it was horrible. You remember that Dallas was like the best show. Every yep. Dallas yep. was the Breaking Bad of the eighties, yeah. motherfuckers. Back like, when we had like four channels. Yep, and they all God, sucked ass. Yeah. And it was like, I remember, uh, okay, years ago, <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, when I, uh, when I was in college, Bruce Springsteen released a song called 57 Channels and Nothing On. Okay. And everyone was like, 57 yeah. Channels? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, you rich motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, VHS, yeah. like a VHS copy of, uh, of of Return of the Jedi costs like $150, <laughs> yeah. which uh, is like $400 in our money. Like, yep. I, no, I remember... I remember growing up uh, in the small town that I grew up in. There were five channels. Yeah. Uh, no, six. Seven. Seven channels. You had but seven channels. We had seven channels. Okay, Mother we had fucker. We had uh, ABC, NBC, CBS. Uh -huh. Right. The, or the local affiliates. Yeah. I should say. Um, there was uh, PBS uh, channel. There was channel ten, WGN, out of Chicago. Mm. There was a local channel. That Wait, just, you got Chicago? Yeah, I don't. I don't TV know what, and it was weird. All over you, over the airwaves. It was weird. Yeah. How yeah, the fuck the, did you get Chicago? TV? I don't know. I, I guess like in my area of Texas that they had like a, a relay station or whatever. I don't know how it worked, but all right. But yeah, it was that was Channel Ten. Uh, then there was a channel where it just uh, where it just it was time and temperature, right? And wow, I remember, you had a lot more channels than I there did. There was time and temperature, yeah. but it was manual. Uh -huh. and so it was just like this black and white rotating thing. And then one day some high school kids got in there and they put mooned, Max Hedrum on. No, they mooned the they mooned the camera. And it was, <laughs> yeah, but then <laughs> talk of the town for weeks. Years after that. They got in, and because that the booth where the camera was where, that was broadcasting Channel 12 across the small town, yeah, it was at the base of this giant radio tower. Yeah, well, somebody got out there and cut the the guide wires or whatever they're called. Okay, so that radio tower fell. <laughs> it just collapsed, miraculously hitting all of the trailers that were around that that uh, tower. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, it was nuts, dude. It could have like killed a bunch of people. It was crazy. Yeah, but uh, uh, you know. Anyway, yeah. It, 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 oh, and we had HBO and Cinemax. Oh, well, we had HBO and Cinemax when it was like. I keep forgetting you were some kind of Richie Richardson. Oh, it really wasn't. It really you're wasn't. It was Richie, just, you're the like Star Wars Death Star and like the GI Joe aircraft carrier. No, and no, no. HBO See, and shit. No, like, my my parents bought all of these toys in HBO and Cinemax for us because it was cheaper than hiring a babysitter. Also, I locked babysitters in the garage and out of the house and did all sorts of Oh my god, you're like Dennis things. the Menace? I was kind of bad. Oh, I was wow. Bad. So, so like I couldn't Calvin? get any, So there were no babysitters that would come take care of young Jason. Yeah. <laughs> and so my parents were like, all right, well, I guess. <laughs> and then so when the VHS, when the VCRs came out, it was like, oh good, another let's a babysitter for Jason that he can't and, lock in the garage. And so that that's uh, that's that's why I am how I am. Do you want to, do you want to know? You want to know how bad it was, children? The TV TV used to stop, like at midnight. All the TV or like 2 a.m. The TV would all stop. 
It would just stop until oh. six. That's what in, that's, in yeah, the morning. Even, even like, HBO. Yeah. Even HBO was just like fucking that. stopped. There's like, a national anthem. Yeah, yeah. Bah, bah, bah. It this is over. the end of our broadcasting There's just day. No more TV. It's midnight. No more TV. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that fucking shit. Can you imagine it being two a.m. and like there's just nothing to do. There's no TV. There's no. I mean, like let's say you were just sitting at home smoking weed. Like what were you supposed to do at two a.m. before VCRs? The yeah. TV turns off. There's nothing on the radio. Like, goddamn. There's no internet. No wonder there's oh, video no. games were dog shit. Yeah, video games sucked ass. The, the Atari twenty six hundred. Everything was closed. Which. Having gone back and played the Atari, a bunch of the Atari 2600 games recently. Oh, shit. They were bad. You're going to fight the bear. You fight the bear, you get the bear. Hey, hey, motherfucker. Hey, fuck face. Dude, fucking I, will I don't know if I ever did you. this one, but you need to start killing some folks. Can I, you, I, I'm trying to think of which button you, is the Can you machete? Punch button. Oh, there, there we is. go. There What's it up? is. Oh, ow, fucker. Maybe you just need to kill him. Oh, ow. Can you hey. kill him? I, nah, I'm just going to. God damn. God damn, dude. Scott, you get off me, Scott! Motherfucker! Hold on, guys, I gotta eat a steak. Mother. God. You, you need to get Weapon X on this. All right, son. like, look, a little bit more, and they're gonna get. They're gonna get the fucking machetes. Come on, man. Falcon punch somebody. All right, all right, all right. Where's my. Oh, I can't even pull out the machete. Uh, okay, which one is the, the, the block button? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the grab button. Well, all right, hold on, I gotta beat up your cousins. All right, fuck you guys. I'm leaving. God damn it, get off of me, you hillbilly slack Stop dog. Stop letting them flank you, Jeff. I, they're, they're, fuck, God, fuck you, fuck you, fuck yourself. Ow, oh my God, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played this. That's all I right. kept jamming the button for punch from Death Stranding, <laughs> and it wasn't doing anything, and I'm like, why can't I punch these guys? Um, yeah, yeah. No wonder there was crime, because it's just 2 a.m. and you fucking you got nothing to do. You know, you just wasted. There's nothing on TV. Okay, which one is the block button again? I don't know. I got it. You need to figure it out, though. Oh my god, I do. My god, there okay. it is. Oh, okay, so that's the block button. Okay, let's try this. God damn it, I hit the block button. All right, yeah. I'm gonna just full on aggression. Get him. You Fuck get him! Fuck get you! Truck you put! Oh mother! Turn this place into the raid, man! Uh, Just what's up now, Fatso? Uh uh uh! Give get me a pants! Get all eco ice on him! Ooh, Use ooh. some sealot! Ooh ooh! Ow! ow. Uh, Hold on! I gotta kill your cousin! Oh Jesus! Uh, uh, all right, I'm gonna grab him. Gonna punch yeah! Him. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Yeah! Get! It. Hold on! I there gotta it get is. the. I gotta get my hat. Hold on! God damn it! One second. <laughs> Should I go back? Ah. And, go back and loot them. What? Go. What are you doing? Okay. There we go. Yeah. So that's why. You know, like it was like two videos ago where you're like, we're living in the darkest timeline. I'm just like, dude, fuck that. I know. Charm to the last. I could buy curry at the grocery store. What was your favorite thing about the '80s? My uncle used to say. Um. You know what? I don't. I think that the '80s and the late '80s were like the golden age of cartoons. I don't think cartoons have been as good as good as they were in the like the Transformers and GI Joe, yeah, okay, okay. And Silverhawks and Thundercats, yeah, and all that stuff. Okay. That's uh, that's like, incorrect. But keep talking. Okay. Uh, have you gone back and watched any of those recently? No, no. I, I have. They're fucking dumb. Okay. I love them, but God, they're terrible. The Centurions, the Humanoids. <laughs> no, actually, the cops. actually, a lot of those do hold up. I mean, like, uh, there's still some really fun episodes of, like, He-Man and Transformers and G.I. Joe. But, Jeff, yeah. the 90s were way better for cartoons. What was in the 90s? Batman. Okay, Batman, Batman was good. Batman the Animated Series. Oh, yeah. Batman was good. It's the greatest yeah. cartoon of all time. Batman was good. <laughs> all right. It's the greatest cartoon of all time. Oh, all right, all right. Stop. We'll stop. All right, all right. Goddamn. Uh, but, uh, but you also had Animaniacs, The Tick, Spider-Man, The X-Men. I think that X-Men, okay, listen, man, we got to talk about that X-Men show. I know. I think that X-Men show is a little overrated. I think people it are just is. like, oh, I can't wait to go back and watch X-Men. I'm like, it looks like dog shit. Oh, I watch Have it you, all the time. It's not good. It's like the animation is like done. I did better animation than yeah. that when I worked for Spill. Yeah, like, it's... Uh, no, I, I actually, so because all of those X-Men and Spider-Man cartoons, yeah. they're all on Disney+. Plus. Oh, yeah. So it's just on nonstop. 
in my house, but truth time, I actually bought them all on Amazon not too long ago, oh so I've been watching them anyway. But yeah, no, they're, they're not good, but they were good at the time yeah. because it was that long form storytelling that you didn't really ever Like see. Justice League Unlimited, man, that shit yes. holds up. That shit's like Justice League Unlimited is awesome. Uh, like I, I'd say Justice League Unlimited, it ends up better than Batman the Animated Series, but uh, it's got okay. Batman in it. Uh, yeah, so. There's there's an argument to be made there. Yeah, uh, Justice League Unlimited and and just Justice League. Good. And it was like there's a bunch of Warren Ellis stories in yeah. there and shit. Yeah, I like Warren Ellis. So, oh oh hey, I found the co go into cover button. <laughs> but yeah, every now and then I'll just like put the Masters of the Universe cartoon on there, and it's just like. Man, oh, it's terrible. Why does He-Man sound like this all the time? He's just got this nasal voice. Yeah. And it's like when he sprints at him. But then when he's He-Man, it's slightly less nasal. He-Man, I'm He-Man. Uh, I am He-Man. I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. But I can, I can do a lot can of cartoon good, voices. Everybody can do, do a good Skeletor, though. Oh, yeah, everybody can do a good Skeletor. <laughs> that, that, that's a good one. And if you do Skeletor, then you can do Cobra Commander and Starscream, for that matter. So. That's, that's pretty much. Uh, but you got to have some, like, lozenges and stuff if you're going to do Starscream. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, shit, i got to drive the train? Yep. All right. Use the whistle. Why is Shinobi here? <laughs> Shinobi, do you want to get on the train? You can jump on. Yeah. He's just gonna run beside <laughs> the train. Just keep pace. <laughs> Ring the bell. Cool. Did you ever? Did you ever rob a train in this game? Like, not in the story, but did you ever try to just like rob a train? Uh, I think so. I did. It's, it was the most. It was so bad. It was like really. I. Well, the thing is that the law just goes up to 11 immediately like the army comes out immediately oh really uh, or that i don't know there's like no good way to rob a train they're always after you you never get enough loot to make it worthwhile and it's hard to get away from them i literally drove this train around the entire map trying to escape the law <laughs> and the train isn't fast enough so eventually i just put it in the middle of a bridge and then just like left hey look the buffalo they're roman you ever have buffalo i have the beefalo oh yeah uh, Allison makes a really amazing chili out of bison. There you go. Yeah. It's a good looking train right there. That's the, uh, what do they call trains? Do they HMS, SS, nothing? They don't have any designation like that? Or is no. it just like the or Orange Blossom Special or it's, whatever? It's like the, the Southwestern Express or like, uh, look, I don't, look I don't, at Shinobi. That's a good horse. This is the, the, the fr he, I curse on this, the Franks and Beans. <laughs> the Frankenbeans. The HMS Frankenbeans? Yeah, only That's a, Her, Her Majesty's, Majesty's Secret <laughs> Service, <laughs> the Frankenbeans. No, well, HMS is like a, what, British ship, right? It Her is. Majesty's oh, yeah, what, what, is, what is HMS? Is something. It's probably Her Majesty's something or other. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, all right. Where are use, we going? Use the whistle, Jeff. Oh, yeah, sorry. Let's do it the entire time. How long can I do it? Good. Yeah, the whole is this, good. Is this irritating? You guys, you guys, is irritating? Like that guy's just like, ah, fuck, it's the whistle train again. <laughs> you know what I like? I like a ghost train. I like a, a nice ghost train. Spooky trains. Not enough of them, in my opinion. Uh, Remember that uh, episode of Amazing Stories? Oh, my God. Uh, no. Was it a ghost train? There was a ghost train. It was a good one. Yeah, what's, the, what's the best train story? The murder mm. on the Orient Express? That's or, a good one. Yeah, that's a uh, good one. Uh, Snowpiercer. Did you ever see The Great Train Robbery? The Great Train like, Robbery is uh, a good one. Sean Connery and Donald Sutherland? Yeah. Silver Streak. I don't think I ever saw that one. That was uh, with uh, Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. What about that? Uh, that Sugar Land Express, the first Steven Spielberg movie. Uh, that Chris, Chris Pine... Denzel Washington, our oh, yeah. hardcore train uh, uh, was, was it called Unstoppable? Unstoppable or, uh, yeah, yeah, something like that? I didn't, I didn't see that one. I did watch that movie. <laughs> I mean, oh, like... Best train movie, Taking of Pelham 123. Okay. Yeah. I, don't think, I don't know if I've ever actually seen that movie. Uh, the I haven't seen the remake, also with Denzel, I think. But the original is... Uh, it's a good crime film. It's pretty okay. good. Yeah. Uh, but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Uh, I mean, I killed you. Your yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. He, he addressed it. <laughs> a gentleman, sir. Oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Do you guys have Here, eyeballs? I ain't 
gotten much money, but don't don't give me your sapphires are worth a lot of money. Don't give me your oh, shit. Family heirloom. Don't give me your shit. I don't want it. Yeah, I'm I'm past money. Uh, yeah, just we're post. We're living in a post money world here. Late yeah. stage capitalist Good bear man. Relative show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill okay, you, Leonard Nimoy. What? The <laughs> they got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, I watched uh, I watched Step Brothers recently again. Oh yeah, and, uh, I'm not really super familiar with that movie. I laughed so hard. Just, just the stupidest thing. At one point, he wakes up, like Will Ferrell wakes up. Oh, I'll kill you, Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> oh. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Now, wait a minute. I don't want to take her sapphires, but don't you go be giving her our guns, Albert. Yeah, come on, Doc. All right, bye, Zs. See ya. Okay. And now we got more We got more positive cowboy points, and we're out in the middle of... You know what that means. Where the fuck are we? We got a pretty good runway to stir some shit up if we wanted to. Just go fucking kill everybody in uh, Blackwater. Or, oh, God, we're... Damn. Oh, okay. We're close to strawberry. Oh, you know what? You what? know what? what? Let's um. What? Should we? Okay, so we can take the train, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got. I think this is that. Uh, that's the guy with one leg, right? To, he, that's go fishing. I don't think we want to do that. So we've got. Oh, oh, here we got go fishing. This is that lady that's out in the woods. Okay. Uh, Charlotte. So we got her. We've got um, uh, Edith is in Ansberg. Uh, we got Sadie in Saint Denis, and I think that's all we got. And then we got this <laughs> this mission from the very beginning of the game, yeah, uh, to to take uh, pictures of gunslingers up in the mountains, and we've never done it because which is actually kind of a challenging mission. So it's good that it's way the hell up there. Uh, I think we should uh, I think we should do uh, Edith or. Charlotte, <coughs> because we can take a train right there, right? Be and we're already standing at a train station. Sounds good. So, which would you rather? Uh, Edith. You do Edith. Okay. What is what is the name of that crap crap town for crap people? Um, craps Crapsville, Crapburg. They're all Crapburg, Jeff. Oh yeah, I forgot. Pay my bounties. Do I have any? Like can I pay them? Yeah, we're just permanently <laughs> yeah. bountied. Can I not buy a train ticket? Is this not a train station? See you around. Jeez, what the fuck is going on here? What it says train tickets on the outside of this train station. Yeah, but it's not letting you. And then when I go in and I talk oh. to this guy, he won't want to let me buy any train tickets. Should I go? Weird. Is there some is there like a different well Thanks, Mr. Uh, is it yeah, is there a different is it upstairs? Different <laughs> like window? What the fuck is, is even going a, on here? Is there yeah, is there a, is th this it? Does he put on a different hat <laughs> and walk over to the different window? <laughs> Um, this is the staff use only door. It's locked. Mother bitch. Mother beach. <coughs> uh, all right. That's weird. That's very strange. Okay. Can we just take the train? Hey, there's a cigarette card. What if we just take the train? Uh, then I'll like the, literally just the take the law train. will come. Will will come after us. And uh, and it will involve us. Uh, wasting time and not finishing the missions so that we can be to the end of Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> the side quests are completing us from finishing Red... They're keeping us from finishing the fucking game, Jeff. Okay. The right. side quests are keeping us from finishing the game. All right, I'll take you going. All right. Side quest, side quest, side quest. And I'm like, sure. Uh, I want to be here for the rest of my goddamn life. <laughs> I can't take the train. You know what this is? I can't take the fucking train. This game... This is hell. This... Okay. I'm good. What? I'm good. What? You were gonna give I was gonna it. say <laughs> I was gonna quote Hemingway. Uh -huh. Jeff. Always do sober what you said you will do drunk <laughs> that will teach you to keep your fucking mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> this is my lesson. Yes. My very personal lesson. Well, you didn't know. You didn't know when when you made that that de declaration that uh we were talking about a 40 hour video game. Like you and I played Red Dead Redemption 1 in not like a, an insane amount of time. Like, it's true. Uh, it was like, what, 25, 30, 30 minute parts or something like something that? Like like, that like, yeah. And we're at episode 56 of oh, Red yeah. Dead Redemption 2. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know what? You know what? 
I'm sorry. This has really been bugging me. Uh, What's up? Uh, Shinobi is dirty. Oh. Uh, Look at you. Well, Taking care of the horse. You never give a shit about the horse. Well, I just, just red dot thing happening. And then I also feel like we need to get our dead eyes back. Just get the... Did you do it? Did little, he? Little maintenance? Did he? Uh, I don't know. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but the core is still oh, fucked. That's, uh, yeah, that's, so it's like you, uh, you got to eat for that? You got to eat. Oh, there we go. Ooh, fine brandy. Brandy. All right. You're a fine girl. <laughs> what was that? Guardians 2? Uh, probably. I haven't yeah. seen Guardians 2 in a while. I think I might need to go back. I didn't really care for it when I watched it, but I think I might need to go back and watch it again. Uh, kind of felt like it was just more Guardians of the Galaxy 1, uh, but I might, need to, I might need to go back and look at it again. It's, uh, uh, I liked it. But I gotta it's watch. Not, it's not one of my favorites of the Marvels, but I liked it. Ooh, we got we unlocked the drifting. Um, but I gotta watch Twitches. Twitches one and Twitches two on uh, I, I don't know what that is. It's, I looked through all the Disney movies on Disney Plus and it's like Teen Witches. Oh. It's like one of those Disney original thing and it's like Twitches and I'm like, okay. Or George of the Jungle one and two. You forget how many crap ass movies Disney's made over the years. Dude. Uh, but then you remember there's a period, and we were talking about this last time, there's a period. In the like late seventies, early eighties, yeah, where Disney didn't really know what they were doing. They got weird. So they got weird. They got weird. The witch uh, escaped to Witch Mountain. Escaped to Witch Mountain. Uh, Tron. Tron. Yeah. Uh, Black, Black Hole. Cauldron. Black Hole. Uh, Watcher in the Woods. Yeah. What was the one? Wasn't there another one? Like Witch Mountain was the UFO one, but wasn't there another one that was like a supernatural? That was Watcher in the Woods. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. With Betty Davis. I was actually thinking about going back and watching because I saw they had all the Herbie movies on there. Oh yeah. I went back and watching the original Love Bug, which yeah. was also kind of a weird movie. Yeah. The car is alive. Yeah. The car is alive. That's what's going on. Yeah. The car is uh, alive and smart. And just kind of cute and gets in a little hijinks and stuff. I used to watch those as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, weird Disney stuff that they just kind of... <laughs> there's some stuff they didn't put on there, like, you know, Song of the South. <laughs> I think that's... Yeah. That's, yeah, that's like... I don't know. There's there's probably some other more offensive ones, but Song of the South, pretty racist. I'm pretty sure Song of the South is the most offensive thing that Disney's ever done, right? Uh, I can't think of anything... Do they do, like, any of those, like... I mean, Last Jedi, but... <laughs> <laughs> the internet loves you. Oh, I know. I know. I'm going to stir Upload that pot. days. Finally, yeah. Jason Murphy speaks for the trees. <laughs> I, only, I only said that <laughs> to poke at the internet. Uh, Last Jedi's fine. Whatever. It's just a fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah. That's kind of where my. It's one of those where I said that and I was like, I immediately regret this decision. Oh, who gives a fuck? This is not me taking a stand on The Last Jedi. Why is I the don't care. thing red? Can I not get, like,. Trains anymore? Oh wait, okay. Damn. Motherfuckers, I need a train. I'll be tending to you shortly. No, no. You tend to me now, goddammit. it. What? Why can't I go anywhere? Hello? Trains are currently unavailable. What's wrong? Just like all the trains, is there train <laughs> outage? <laughs> we left that one train on the tracks in that one place, and it's yeah. just blocked up. Well, there's only one conductor, and oh my god, we don't why am I quit sneaking, <laughs> Arthur? <laughs> Uh, okay. Why are there no trains? I don't know. We'll just do it All by. Right. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Um, we'll do it live. Wait, is there a stagecoach? We got a stagecoach, right? Do we? There's a stagecoach up Let's here. Try that. Uh, anything but fucking walking for a dude. Go inside. It's raining. I don't know if you know this, but how about you? Are you take a ride? Where is the wind taking us? Uh, Where are we supposed to go? Ansburg? Sure. Is that <laughs> fine? Go to Ansberg. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> we got money. Uh, yeah, Ansberg is where we're going. Okay. Uh, so get us close to. It should get us right there. Edith or whatever her name is. Yep. We'll <laughs> Great. I'm not gonna be your friend or yeah. anything. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my headphones in. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you ever wear <laughs> headphones just so nobody will talk to you? Um. Every so often, I usually just wear headphones when I'm I listen to like podcasts when I'm walking my dog. Yeah. Uh, and every so often there'll be some like some shit going down out in the world, and I'll reach in my pocket and just pull the headphones out and put them back in so that I can listen to the shit going down in the world. Sure. It still looks like I got headphones on. Yeah. But 
I uh, I don't spend a lot of time out in the world. I think I'm just gonna start wearing my earbuds like all the time. Yeah, just all the time. What do you think about just like so no one talks to me? Some some big fuck off like '70s headphones. Like just big, like a big fat cord coming out of them. Then you're that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want to get less attention. Oh, okay. Not more. You don't want you don't want a hipster to walk up and be like, oh my god, are those the RK75s? I've uh. The, yeah. the tube quality on those is amazing. You know, uh, have, does that ever happen to you when you have when you have something or you're carrying something and someone who's super into it just starts talking to you about all the little details and it's like, man, I just wanted headphones, dude. Yeah, I just. But then again, like I'm that guy. Oh, Edith. I, I'm I'm also that guy. Yeah. Because I'll see somebody wearing an Iron Fist T-shirt and I'm like, dude, Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Yeah. Danny Rand. Oh, man, that one time when Danny and Luke go to Kunlun to fight the Hilrithi or whatever, I think it was like an issue oh uh, 110, maybe? Oh, that was a good one. And I'm, and they're looking at me like, oh, God, are you going to hurt me? Is, am I in danger now? And you realize, oh, shit, I just got weird. Oh, my God, Edith. Did you just, like, stick your face into a corpse? So, for anybody who doesn't remember, this is the lady who whose husband died of tuberculosis, who gave us tuberculosis, and she's been. Uh, uh, I think you can. We didn't, but you can run into her in Saint Denis, uh -huh. when she's originally starting out as a prostitute, and now it's like she's come come up to this coal town, yeah, and she's just fucking just just all the way down on her luck. So. Uh, Albert feels bad about it. Should have go to the mine. Roped up um, Strauss, yeah, and just dropped him off. Uh, well, robbed him, yeah, and given the money to her, yeah. Rob from the Strauss and give to the Edith. No, uh, I used to have a, uh, uh, I used to have a gray shirt that had the Atari logo on it, like the old Atari logo, uh -huh. and it just said Atari. And every time I'd go out, people would uh, be like, "Oh, cool shirt!" So I stopped wearing it. <laughs> uh, now I have uh, eight black T-shirts, and they're all the same. Man, there's uh, something to be said from just jeans and a black T-shirt. That's all I wear, jeans I'm, and a black T-shirt. I'm getting there. Uh, I'm getting there. I don't have to make any decisions about my life anymore. I just jeans and a black T-shirt. I mean, like, you know. That sounds pretty good. Go I'm, to a job interview, I'll wear a yeah. you know, suit and tie. But like, I'm tired of decisions. Like every day when you wake up and you're just like, what should I wear? And it's like, I already have that covered. It's called jeans and a fucking t-shirt. Yeah, you're like Steve Jobs. Uh, Why don't you shut up? <laughs> yeah. Just shut up, man. Just kill them all. Is this your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Look at my look into my face, sir. Leave the boy. <laughs> look at this man. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You see how much bigger my beard is than yours? You too. <laughs> yeah. No one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear Blam. <laughs> yeah. Clear off. It doesn't take you much to pull the fucking you. trigger. All right. I, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. I wish you could just murder them. I wish you could just take a step back and just shoot all of them except for the boy. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe him too. Who cares? There you go. Yeah. Take a little bit of that, sir. Who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go. Now kill them. Shame on you. Kill them all. Just a goddamn boy. Kill them all. Just throw the dynamite in the mine yes. entrance. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, Jeff. <laughs> They're gonna kill me. I can't. You and your mama can go someplace. We gotta go rescue this guy and his mom. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get. Out of here. Mama. Yeah, go. go. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. <laughs> okay. He's like, Nobody wants you here. Throw a Molotov into the, the mine. Into the mine? Make sure that they're... Oh. I think you used up all of the... The, the, the uh, dynamite's all gone. I used the dynamite. But I don't think we have any Molotovs, do we? I don't think we do. That's okay. Uh, you yeah. go there and you shoot those barrels, Jeff. You want to get a step away from the barrels, but shoot the, the, the little kegs. You want these guys over those, here? Those are going to blow. All right. So you're thinking like uh, one of those? Yeah. Okay. 
Somebody's investigating. Walk into the mine. Okay. We you just want to kill minutes. everybody? Yeah. You just want to kill everybody in the mine? Yeah, pretty much. There's a lot. They're the witnesses. That's they're okay. coming out. Whatever. Uh, what are they going to do? Nobody to die to. Witness if they're all. That's right. Hey, gentlemen, uh, I like that ass whooping before, but I got a different idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got a fun new game. It's called Fuck Your Mother. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was a really good idea, <laughs> fucking with the bear man, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're losing value honor points. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Are you kidding me? Oh, God damn it. God damn it, he's leaving. He's getting away. Oh, he's absconding. Or what, is, uh, what does Francis McDormand say in, uh, uh, in Fargo? He's fleeing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I got enough bounty for all these guys, so... Yeah. You know, uh, well, with that okay. murder and murder spree... We, we put a good dent in our uh, in our reputation. Is that what you wanted? You just don't want to be any goody two-shoes, No, huh? no, no. I just wanted to make sure these fuckers in the mine they know knew what's what, what. Knew what was what. I wanted to make sure there's an understanding. There's some, still some murder witnesses out there, but, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, let's wrap it up. Uh, hey, everybody, hit the like, subscribe button. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Um, ooh, that guy had some cocaine gum and some trash. Yeah, delicious. Trash. Um, yeah, patreon.com forward slash rage slut. Kick us some bucks. We will kick you bonus videos. So many bonus videos that there is not even room for all of them. There's a spreadsheet. There is a spreadsheet with so many bonus videos. You will not be disappointed in the number of bonus videos. Oh, they've all scattered out and started telling everybody that we were murderers. And what? the crime's been reported. Oh. And now the law is out on. The law dogs are out. Yeah, maybe uh, you shouldn't have listened to me. I, uh, eh, you know what? That's all right. I regret it's, nothing. It's fine. It's fine. We were already, we already had an unpayable bounty in this yeah, place anyway. So, so what are you going to do? The time might as well enjoy the crime. Kill me again. Damn it, Shinobi, I want to get the fuck out of here. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash modern rogue. Uh, go there. See the, the rogity, the rogosity. Do you guys have an adjective to describe your your general shenanigrams that stupid. you do? Stu okay. <laughs> Embrace the stupid. Jackassery. Uh, okay. Uh, and with that, we're going to just run out into the wilderness. And we'll see you next week for more Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, my God. The law is here, Jason. Ah! Martian!